Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know that it's been quite a while since I've posted a video. I feel like I just had to take time and figure out exactly what I wanted this channel to be about and decide what niche I wanted to go for. But I did want to keep my channel about birth and pregnancy and things like that because honestly that's the path that my life is going on and my knowledge is always increasing in that area. So. In this video, I want to give you guys my tips that I have for decreasing your postpartum hair loss. But first, I noticed that I had a few new subscribers, and I just wanted to say welcome to my channel. I'm glad for all of you guys, and without further ado, let's get into it. So as you guys might know, my baby is almost a year old, so I'm just getting past all the hair loss that comes with being in the postpartum phase. So the first thing that I did to decrease hair loss after I had my baby was... I bought a shampoo and conditioner set that was really good quality and had really good reviews that said that it was going to help my hair grow and help my hair be strong. So I will put a picture of that right here so that you can see what brand it was in case you're interested in getting some yourself. I'll also put a link in the description so you can just click right to it. I did notice though with using that shampoo and conditioner that one to two days after I'd wash my hair it would look really greasy and I think that that's I think that's part of what helps it to encourage hair growth is that it's not so harsh on your hair. The second thing that I did is I bought hair oil, which I'll also put a picture right here so you guys can see. It's meant to encourage hair growth and strengthen the hair that you have. And what I did with this is I, I put it on my scalp and let it sit for 15 minutes or so. And it stimulates your scalp and stimulates hair growth. One thing I should say is it doesn't matter how much you do your hair is still going to fall out somewhat. And the reason for that is normally people shed a certain amount of hairs every day. Everyone does. So then when a woman becomes expecting, the hormones change and your hair doesn't fall out as much as it did before. And your body just kind of holds on to all your hair and that's one reason your hair looks thicker when you're expecting. And then once you have the baby, I think say about three months after is when you really start seeing your hair come falling out is because your body is now releasing all those hairs that it was holding on to. And it just seems like more. The other reason you lose hair is because of all the stress your body is put under when you're actually giving birth. It's really hard on the body. And so one way that we can see that is your hair falls out somewhat. The next thing that I've done is I've tried to eat more clean. When you are eating more healthy, like avocados, nuts, eggs, and you avoid the highly processed food, it shows in your skin and it shows in your hair. I've noticed that it makes a big difference. Another thing that I've done is I limit heat on my hair. I try not to use heat on my hair more than four times a month. And that includes blow dryers, curling irons, flat irons. I try to avoid all of it. I have a silk scrunchie that I use often instead of using the hair ties that are more damaging to your hair, as well as my silk pillowcase that I got for Christmas actually, because it, it's more gentle on your hair, it's better for your skin. I use heat protective spray when I do have to use heat on my hair. This is the heat protectant spray that I use. Sometimes I'll use it even when I'm not going to put heat on my hair because it also doubles as a leave-in conditioner. Another thing that I do to decrease hair loss after I have my baby is I start taking those hair, skin, and nail supplements. You've probably seen them at like Costco. They come in a pill form, I think, and they also come in a gummy form, which is the kind that I get. Or I know some women will just take vitamin E supplements. You don't want to do that if you're expecting though because too much vitamin E can be detrimental to your baby. So talk to your healthcare provider before you do that. Guys, none of this is medical advice. This is just simply me trying to share my experience and my tips that have worked for me with you guys. But the last tip that I have for you guys is when your hair is wet after you have washed it, if you're gonna put it up in a towel, use one of those towels that is specifically meant for hair drying. It's more gentle than just your regular towel. Or else, if you don't have one of those, you can use a t-shirt. You're gonna have less breakage and it's just gonna be all around more gentle on your head and your hair. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video on how to decrease postpartum hair loss. I'm hoping to get back into the swing of posting YouTube videos, so stay tuned for that. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Comment down below if you've got any questions or ideas of what you would like to see next, and I will do my best to make it happen. See you guys. 
Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Don't be alarmed for your hair that does fall out because after a while, it really does grow back. I've noticed now that when I put my hair up, I have a bunch of hairs that are like this long. In the front especially, I can see it. And those are the hairs that fell out when my baby was little. And now they're just growing back.